Hi everyone, my name is Aparna Patia and this week's tech tip is about how to transfer your Revit project standards from uh, one project to another. All right, let's get started. First thing we want to do is have the project that we want to grab the standards from and the project that we want to push the standards into both open in the same Revit session. All right, so they're both open at the same time here and uh, I have this project which I want to grab the project standards from. They have my dimension cells in here. I have project parameters I want to grab. Um, and there's the viewport titles I would like to grab. So let's show you how to do that. We're going to go into the new project that we have here. And then we're going to go to the Revit's Manage tab. And then after that, we're going to click on Transfer Project Standards. Within this, what we're going to do is it allows you to copy from a single model. So if you have multiple models open, you can select the model that you would like from the drop down list. And then it lets you copy things like browser organization, your arrowhead styles, your filters, your project information, your um, fill patterns, your filled regions, your line styles, your uh, materials. Materials are especially important if you're using them to color your studs and you need that to show up on your shop drawings or even your views in this project. Um, it brings in all that data. It also brings in your object styles, your text styles, your uh, view reference types, your view templates, your view templates and your view filters. Very important for shop drawings especially. Um, typically, I suggest not to check all. I always say check none first and then go through the list and bring in the items you need to for this project because you don't want to bring in things that might not be necessary and that would weigh your project down. So bring in only the things that you need. For shop drawings, is basically I'm bringing in the settings for shop drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my arrowhead styles. Um, I'll bring in my browser organization because I want my shop drawings to show up in a certain location. So I'll bring that in. I will bring in my dimension styles here. I will bring in my fill patterns, my filled regions, my filters. I will also bring in my keynote settings if I have any, my halftone underlay settings, um, my line patterns, line styles, line weights. I'll also bring in my materials. I'll bring in my model text types, my object styles. If you have adjusted those, please do bring them in. You've done all the hard work in one project, might as well bring them into the next, right? if you need to use them especially. Um, you can bring in your print settings too, like if you set up the way you want to print your PDF, um, you could bring that data in. Project information, if you've put in your company info within the project information or consultants info within the project information, and that's populating your title block, bring it in. Uh, you have project parameters that you might be using in schedules, you could bring those in as well. Uh, your revision settings if you need to, um, if you're using those, your phase settings uh, as well, if you need to bring those in, I forgot to click on that. If you have an existing building or um, and you have like demo phase, existing phase and new phase, bring that in. Um, you have textiles that you would like to use. Uh, you could bring, you will need to bring that in for shop drawings. Your view reference types, your view templates, you can bring all of those in and also your viewport types. All right, so I'm bringing in everything that I need. You can even bring in your wall types if you've created custom ones, like you have a typical two by four wall type, you have a typical two by six wall type. You can bring that in uh, with the click of a button instead of drawing them all out and then copying them and pasting them. Too much work, right? We're just gonna click a button and bring it all in. And then you'll just hit okay. Then it brings up this dialog box that asks you, hey, there are duplicate items in this project. What would you like me to do? Do you want me to overwrite them? Or do you want to bring, do you want me to bring in new only? If you've modified anything in the project that you're bringing elements into, uh, I would recommend just bringing in the new items. But if you haven't modified anything and it's a brand new project like mine is, just hit the overwrite button. It will overwrite everything uh, that it's bringing in. All right, so um, now it's done that. So I'll just quickly show you uh, what it did. It brought in all of these wonderful view templates that I wanted. And then I'm just going to show you the one that I um, 
used for my shop drawings, which is the MWF framing elevation um, view template. I'm just going to show you that, look, all the fin filters got brought in, the filters and ena enabling features and the check marks are all the same as well. And all of that data got brought in because I brought in my filters, my view template will now make sure my view looks the same as it did in that other project. So that's it for this week's tech tip. Have a great day.